All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are doing the recent runner technical analysis videos. I'm gonna do my best to cover three stocks on this one. If it goes a little long, I'll break it out, but um, there's some interesting things happening with HUBC here, okay? Um, I, I know it looks bad that the 20 is going down. However, there's a little bit of a golden cross happening here where it looks like the smaller one is going over the bigger one. That is technically a, a, a bullish thing. However, nothing is really going to matter until we actually cross that little bad boy right there, right? But interesting little sign right there. Let's just see if it, if it manifests anything more, okay? Before we go deeper into the technicals, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do right we'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up short term we have our five moving averages these horizontal support and resistance lines i do draw manually myself and then when we're done up here we'll use the macd rsi and volume as our lower indicators hey really quickly if you can please like and subscribe it does really well with the youtube algorithms but look there's so many better things you can be doing on your sunday and i really appreciate you being here so thank you just for that all right and look these are just my opinions nothing's financial advice but if you have anything better to say hey throw it in the comments all right we are simply educated people sharing our opinions sharing our opinions excuse me and i promise you i'd love to hear yours not just like bash yours you know what i'm saying so um, let's get into it. And look, again, I'm for sure going to call out this golden cross one more time. It's when a smaller one goes over a big one. It's a, it's a good thing, okay? That said, I'm, I, I don't know how much emphasis I really want to put on that, all right? Now, don't get me wrong. It's nice that the MACD and RSI both have the green line over the red line. That's generally good in my book, right? And, and it goes with that golden cross. That said, though, 80% of the work is up here. And look, end of the day, literally end of the closing on Friday, right? We are under all five moving averages, right? Your money is in such a bad place when it's under all five moving averages. I often say within them, it's, it's, it's a little bouncy, right? You can hopefully use them to move on up and hopefully you have good spacing between them, but you want your money in a stock that's well above all the moving averages, not only on the daily, but all also on the weekly and again there's only three lines here it's this is a relatively new stock it has not been a hundred weeks but we're still under all the lines on the weekly under all the lines on the daily that's not a good thing okay that said look if 239 breaks if this bad boy breaks it'll put you well over the 20 and man there's a lot of reason to believe 630 hits okay because there's not much here. Let me go to the weekly. Yeah, again, what's this number at? This is at 5, 550. So maybe 550 becomes a little bit of a something. Yeah, I'll go ahead and draw that just so we have it. But for real, it really seems like 550 would hit if 240 happens, okay? And look, I know it seems silly to like not want to get in now because what if it gets to this and this I can make that much more profit right there there's something in my book at least to waiting for what should be safer waters look there's no such thing as safe there's no such thing as guaranteed there's no such thing as like risk-free but end of the day the casinos in Vegas are literally making billions and trillions on having 53 percent odds versus 47 right all we're really trying to do is tip it just like a little bit and this window is that there's there's no green in sight look how far I'm zo there, there's there's nothing here to stop us right there's nothing in fact this 550 was on the weekly if we didn't put this there's almost no reason to think we wouldn't come on if not here basically here right so there's so much good to to believe however don't underestimate how hard it's going to be to break 239. Look, I'm going to set the alert right now at 240. Believe me, I, 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 will, I will drop what I'm doing to know 240. But I don't know how interested I'm going to be before. And look, that alert by no means is an immediate buy notification. Because look, I'm going to give a fake example. Let's say we get to here, but it takes bringing the RSI all the way to 90. Obviously, in the back of my head, I'm going to assume we're probably going to need a cool down before it goes the second time, right? So there's a number of reasons why an alert is not a buy notification, but man, going from 239 to 550 or anything remotely near that 
is some silly trading. You know what I mean? So um, we're close. And look, if you if your risk tolerance is a little a little more than mine, I don't know what else to say. You can set the alert at 215, or hey, if you even want, you can set it maybe at like 220, 219. Maybe getting over this candle might be enough for you, and you can bank like you know almost 20 cents. Um, that's basically 10% above my alert, right? So just again, however, however your risk tolerance works, right? But end of the day, I'm putting less emphasis on this nice golden cross. I'll say the word nice one more time. And more than under, like we're under all the moving averages. I need this eight to go up more. Like it's definitely uptrending, right? We've gone from down here to here. That's, that's, that's no easy task, but let's start going up more. You know what I mean? And then I also do need this 20 to curve up as well. Because if the eight goes up and the 20 comes down, end of the day, the eight's gonna come back down with the 20. These two are best friends. They they really, really are. So um, watch the lines, but yeah, 240 for my book, um, 215, 220 if you're a little more risk tolerant. And again, we looked at the weekly and all we did was we took the line from the eight. Otherwise, look, I am not thinking about 10. I am not thinking about all time highs until we start you know, working our way up. Slow and steady is not a bad thing, all right? We don't need monster candles, I'm telling you, all right? Slow and steady, just break this and just slowly, slowly go up. Let these open up a little bit. It actually could be a really good thing, all right? Okay, Excella, look. I'm generally really mean when I talk about this stock, all right? And it's not because I'm a hater. It's not because I'm a shorter. It's not because I'm secretly like happier and sleeping better because of your misery. Like this stock is the epitome of why I put so much emphasis on moving averages. And look, I'm not even here to say that these five are, are the best are the only ones that matter, any silly noise like that. Look, moving averages are nasty. And and just find some that are comfortable with you. You know what I mean? Like these are comfortable for me. If you really wanna know the truth, I have a, just a slightly altered moving average view on my the one. You know what I mean? And and it's it's their their moving averages are beautiful. Just just get comfortable with them, all right? But all I'm seeing and all I talk about on these videos is the fact that we're under the eight under the 20, under the eight, under the 20, slight little attempt at the 50, 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 end of the day, back under the eight and the 20, right? And end of the day, all these attempts are, are pretty pump and dump. I'll say there's a little bit more, like this is a few days and a few candles, this is actually more than one. So like there, there has been some sustainability. I'll give it a little more credit than I give my other pump and dump kind of highlights. But yeah, just you can't pretend Excel is not doing what Excel does. And look, we lose this line, you lose the bottom of the big candle. Going from five cents to four cents is a lot. All right, it's 20%. There's only so many pennies you have in five cents. If you lose another penny, you're not gonna lose 25%, right? They get more devastating as you go down, right? And I obviously wish I had more decimals here, but end of the day, we try to get near the eight, we lose the eight. We're probably gonna try to get near the eight and lose the eight. You know what I mean? Like this stock does that. It, 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 Further goes away, it gets close. Further goes away, it gets close. Further goes away, it gets close. You know, hey, tries to get to 20. Hey, tries to get to 20. Stays here, but then, lo you know what I'm saying? So like, maybe you'll be able to make a decent swing when it gets far enough, right? Like when I say far enough, like look at the spacing between that before it gets like to that close, right? Maybe there's a decent far enough right here. Let's see what the next two days do. But yeah, once you get far enough, there's a decent swing back to the eight because this thing's really good at at least like coming near the eight, right? It, it loses it, loses it, loses it, then comes back, right? So, you know, that's more of what I'm looking for here than any way believing we're gonna break these three lines and start coming up here and then breaking this one and then start coming up here. Like, nah, there's, there's so much more this thing needs to prove. And like the volume alone, I think speaks so much, right? Like you'll get a couple moments where people are interested for sure, but end of the day, it's a whole lot more red than green. And for a while, at least since the middle of February, we've been well under the 50 moving average. You know volume is king if you watch my, it's my golden rule number two. And yeah, if you can't even, you know, 
break volume averages? Come on, what are you gonna do? And the sad thing is, when this one was breaking volume averages, all it could really do was stay horizontal at best, right? Like, you really wanna expect something like this to take you at least a little bit up, right? So, even though volume's king, sorry to zoom in and out so much, I just had one more thought here, like, volume can only do so much on some stocks, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna end it here. I'll make another video for the third one, but look, again, I swear I'm not a hater. I'm not here to like bash any single stock, Excella or whatever, right? But um, these lines aren't make-believe. I'll tell you that much, right? And like, I'm not here pretending to be smart enough to know the math behind any of the things that you see here. Like, I don't know what these two numbers actually mean. Like, I know this is the ninth moving average, right? But I don't know what RSI 14 means. I don't know why it's different than RSI 13 or 12 or whatever, right? Like, I'm not here to even care about it. It's just a matter of like finding something you're comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? So um, look, end of the day, if you disagree with anything, let me know. But yo, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time, all right?